What's up, what's up? Real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, and welcome into another edition, my head itches, of MVP Games Live right here on Twitch.tv and on YouTube. I am joined, as I always am, with my beautiful co-host, Soapy Muffin. Hey! Soapy, how's your day going? Because I know it has been a day so far. It has been a day. Uh, it's, it's going pretty good. You know, it's just kind of been like a, a lazy day. Mm -hmm. I finally get the weekend off, so... yeah. Yeah. Happy about that. I mean, for you, you don't get weekends off usually. Yep. Don't you work like what thirteen days straight? Is that is that the deal? Yeah. yeah. It's twelve to thirteen days okay. straight. God, that sucks. Like, not and I'm not saying that as like a man sucks for you. Just like a why would an employer want to work someone twelve days straight? But it's been a interesting day for me too, as today's just been the Ricky has a complete headache and does not feel a hundred percent. But uh. Do not worry. I am not sick sick. I just have a raging headache. But we are still going to give you Games Live today. If you're wondering what the hell is Games Live, this is where we talk about all the video game news going on in the world. Um, before we get into everything, talking a little about Harry Potter today, Tokyo Game Show, um, and much more. Um, before we get into it, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Discord. It's a great thing. Join it. Great conversations happening each and every day. Link is either down below in the description or in Twitch chat. Excl yeah, the words can't come out of my mouth. Exclamation point Discord. That is where you do it. Thank you, this guy, for hitting up Twitch chat with it. Number two, if you'd like to support us, a couple of ways you can do that. Patreon.com backslash MVP vids. Um, you can bronze, silver, gold, tier rewards, and you can get rewarded for supporting us. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, Pat Hill and Philly Sean. You can also throw us a sub on Twitch. Let's say you got that uh, that Prime Gaming that Amazon likes to throw at you. Well, you can throw that at us, no cost to you, and get the same rewards as a bronze level patron on patreon.com backslash MVP vids. Last but not least, we're on Twitch every Monday through Friday, twitch.tv backslash MVP vids. But we're also on YouTube at MVP Entertainment. Soapy, let's get into the show proper, though. First thing we're starting off today with is we've kind of had this discussion. It was kind of like an intro discussion to it, but we didn't really go like we were in the shallow end for it. We didn't really go into the deep end. So today, because of the light gaming news that I was seeing, I was like, you know what? Let's dive into this discussion we've had before. But now we could really have it. And where I'm getting this is there was a opinion piece, an op-ed piece on Polygon.com. And it was about Hogwarts Legacy. Um, and basically the whole article was an opinion piece of why um, Stacey Henley, why she is not buying the game. The, it's titled, Why I'm Not Buying the Harry Potter Game. Um, and she goes into basically the entire background of J.K. Rawlings, what's going on. And basically she ends with this. Um, I'm going to put the um, link down below and put the link in Twitch chat um, very soon so that you guys can uh, go ahead and read it for yourself if you want. But the little snippet she gets to, however, I will not be buying the game no matter its approach to representation Hogwarts Legacy and Rowlings are too closely intertwined, and there are too many other great video games out there for me to give my time to one as compromised as this one. But I've also been asked by a couple of people about whether they would be allowed to play the game, given Rowlings' history. I wouldn't presume to speak for all trans people or to even tell my friends what they are or aren't allowed to do. In the wise words of um, the Simpsons Rever Rever Reverend Lovejoy, I say, short answer, yes, with an if. Long answer, no, with a but. Soapy, do you think that Hogwarts Legacy, the sales of it, the initial um, how many people buy it day one will be affected by this? And should people be affected by this? Like... Should people, I didn't want to make the title, should people boycott the game, but how many people do you think we will see have this same point of view where it's like, no, I don't care if she's not involved in the project. It's her IP. Fuck Harry Potter. I'm not buying it. 
I think there's going to be not like an insane amount, mm-hmm. but there's going to be a noticeable group of people that are saying, you know, oh, I'm not buying, like, I won't buy this game because it has anything to do with J.K. Rowling. Mm-hmm. And I can kind of use a thing that's or that's kind of happened today as an example. Mm-hmm. Granted, it's a lot more of an extreme example. Yeah. But, uh, so it was, um, I believe it was either yesterday or today. It was, um, a rapper named Tory Lanez uh, mm-hmm. released his new album. Yeah. And it's, uh, there are people that, granted, don't get me wrong, the album's, uh, completely talking about a situation he had happen. Mm-hmm. But it was, there are people who refuse to listen to it because of, uh, what he did. Mm-hmm. Even though I will say right now, I've listened to the album, it's pretty fucking good, I ain't gonna lie. It also doesn't help I like Tory Lanez as a rapper, so. Well, I mean, with, like, in that sense, though, it's, like, that one to me, like, the music side of things is different, because, like... If you're an artist, you are making the music. The music is yours. But like in this sense, like with me personally, I feel like if someone were to ask me, and of course I'm not the the judge, jury, executioner, I'm not the one that's basically what's right, what's wrong. But if someone asked me, like, do you think I'd be allowed to play it? Even though like um I stand against everything that jk rowlings has said i would say yes you are a lot like it's it's one of those things where there's a part of my mind that goes first off yes um unless there's like a law against it you're allowed to think whatever you want you're allowed to think it you're allowed to buy the game it's just a fact of you're not asking am i allowed to do it it's more of like well if i do it will i be looked bad like will i be frowned upon where I relate it to, and this is an extreme example, where it's like Dave and I have had this conversation whenever we talk about like politics and Trump, where it's like, well, technically, if you have a racist thought or a homophobic thought, technically you're allowed to think that thought. Are people going to frown upon that thought and maybe not want to talk to you? And are there consequences for having that thought? You're damn right there's consequences for it, but... This is not that. This is, like, that's an extreme. We're talking about a video game here. And I feel like, yes, there will be people that are like, I am supporting this game. Therefore, I am supporting J.K. Rawlings. But, like, I said it the day that we um that we talked about this, because it was the PS5 showcase when it came out, is how about you, like, how about we think of the other side of it to where it's like, Yes, J.K. Rowling's is a piece of shit for what she've said, and you should be against what she said. But how about all the other developers that are putting in their work on this? Everyone who put their blood, sweat, and tears into this game to give Harry Potter fans a game that not only they would enjoy, but a game that they've been asking for. Like when Hogwarts Legacy was put out, this guy, he was in the Twitch chat and he was saying like, yes, finally the game. Like I asked like, oh, would Harry Potter fans like be excited about this? They're not playing as Harry, Hermione or Ron. They're playing as your, as like themselves. And he goes, absolutely. This is what we've been asking for. So like, there's a side of me that goes, if you don't want to buy the game because you feel like by doing so you're supporting JK Rowling's, I I accept that, like, if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm not going to shame you for doing that. But if you want to go and buy the game and play the game, like, there are still developers, people working on this game that you are helping by buying their game, which many look at. And just by looking at the game, it looks like it's going to be a pretty fucking good game. Yeah. And when I brought up the music example, it Mm -hmm. was... I wasn't doing it so much as like, oh, like this is the exact t- same type of situation. Yeah, but it happens but, in other places. Yeah. Yeah. Of where like people literally refuse to even like listen to like a single song because well, it supports them. Well, I mean, and, we talk about it all the time on the WWE side. There are people that won't even watch old pay-per-views or matches that have Chris Benoit in it because of what happened. True. I mean, obviously, you know, Chris Benoit, uh, what he did is a lot different than what J.K. Rowling has said, it, but, like, it still falls in, like, the same example, is. though. Yeah, it is, but, like, there's 
there's example of this all over the place. Like there's even pro athletes that have said stupid shit. Um, and then like, even look at, I know it's not saying stupid shit, but like, even look at Michael Vick where it's like originally when he got signed by the Eagles after getting let out of prison, it was, Oh my God, why did we sign him? And there were a group of people that were against it because of what he had done and his actions through the dog fighting stuff. Yeah. And I, like, I'm not on the side of like, Oh, just complete. Don't buy this game because of JK Rowling. The mm-hmm. whole thing is like, it's just, I personally will do it. Cause one, I've, I've never cared for Harry Potter anyway. So mm-hmm. I wasn't going to even think about this one. Yeah. But like, I think it's seeing that like a lot of people who like, if you can't stand Rowling at all, like you probably just shouldn't do anything with Harry Potter. Mm hmm. Like, and I get that, like, she's not involved with the game at all, but it's like the opinion piece said. It's literally Rowling and, and Harry Potter go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. One is not here without the other. Yeah. And and that's the main problem of where it's, she's still super vocal about Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. She still says things about it all the time. And it's yeah. like, one, if I was Warner, if I was Warner or anybody, I'd just be like, Rowling, just shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> well, and that's because like, you're ta- that's you're even, tanking the value of your own fucking thing. Yeah, well, that's even something that they've said where maybe they wanted to put this game out sooner, but they couldn't put it out one time because J.K. did something. That's like great. Like it's almost like the Warner Brothers and the devs were almost like dodging a minefield of like, okay, when's the perfect spot to put this out? Um, and then they decide to put it out, and then boom, this happens with J.K. Rowling's. Yeah, so I think, like, I think a lot of people are still going to buy the game, and it's mm-hmm. because a lot of people, like, I think, I don't like. I've always said, like, you should be able to separate the artist from the work. Because, mm-hmm. for instance, like, I'll be brutally honest, dude. If I couldn't separate artists from work, I couldn't watch Chris Benoit matches. I couldn't listen to Kanye's music. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to listen to Tory Lane's album, even mm-hmm. though you know that's a whole shit situation that I don't even want to start fucking getting into. Mm -hmm. Like, I think a lot of people need to be able to separate the art from the artist, because, like, I completely agree with what this guy said, of it's the person does not equal the work. Mm Because the whole thing is, like, I will use this as a main example. I love H.P. Lovecraft's work. Like, I love the Lovecraftian universe. Yeah. Holy fuck is H.P. Lovecraft a shit human being. Yeah. Like, we think that Rowling's bad? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. (laughs) She looks like a patron saint compared mm-hmm. to H.P. Lovecraft. Well, but it's it, at the same time, I can separate his work from him because it's, you know, obviously people have built on his legacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not just his books that people count as the Lovecraftian universe. Yeah. And that's where kind of, like, I don't want to, like, tell people what to think. Because mm-hmm. obviously there are people that are going to be like, no, I don't want to support anything that J.K. Rowling does, which is fine. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but it's... At least, like, if you loved Harry Potter, don't just feel like you have to instantly hate it because of Rowling. Yeah, and one thing that I think goes on into this is, like I said before, the whole consequences part of it, where I'm going to go back to my first analogy of the person who has racist thoughts. Well, if they think that way, maybe their friends start to say, well, maybe I don't want to associate with you. Um, to use a real life example with me, I used to have a friend, um, who we hung out a lot. We were college, like basically Dave and I are best friends, but if I was to pick a friend from my college, cause Dave didn't go to the same college as me, I would have picked this friend. And it was just after a while, like just the, with me to him, it was more of the attitude to where like every time I, we would hang out, like. I would just feel angry and there'd be so much negativity to where like, I remember the exact day where we went out to cheesecake factory. I felt so negative from the experience to where like he was driving me back to drop me off. And I just thought in my head, I'm like, why do I need this in my life? And I boom, cut it out. And I cut the negativity out of my life um, to where this Stacy, the person who wrote this there's another part she says that I don't I don't really agree with, and I'm just going to read it. 
um, so we can discuss it. It says, regardless of how Warner Brothers may try to distance itself from Rowling's, Hogwarts Legacy will directly or indirectly generate money for her, as well as extend her fame and influence, all of which she can use to further propagate hate against trans people. I feel that you would directly aid that by buying the game, but you might also feel that by by not buying the game, you're unlike you're unlikely to make a difference. In the big picture, you probably won't. One sale, even a hundred sales, will not make it make a dent. Rather, it is a decision that could make a difference in a lot smaller, more personally powerful way. If you just des- if you decide to open. Uh, are if you decide to be open about your decision and reasoning, um, trans people will see where you stand on the issue and may adjust their opinion um, of you accordingly. By contrast, hyping up the game, sharing screenshots, um, or talking about it without consider or uh, without considering the larger context, are all behaviors that could be harmful on more micro level. As your trans friends see you throw in for Rowlings while they sit on the sidelines. Remember that many trans people love Harry Potter for its escapism and have had that cruelly ripped away from them by a woman who originated it. Also considering while you cannot go without the game when leaving it on the shelf is a small but significant act of solidarity, Hogwarts uh, was not created um, by Hatsud Miku, and it didn't come from that space. It was created by J.K. Rowling's, and if you're desperate to return to her creation and Hogwarts Legacy, you cannot hand wave that feeling of need away. And the thing that I kind of disagree with here um, is the sense of if you are a trans person and you have a friend who buys this game, who plays this game, don't automatically think that, oh, well, because you bought this, I cannot be friends with you. Because you bought this, you think the same way as J.K. Rawlings. Like, that's to me, it's like there may be some people that do have the same thought. I don't know how everyone thinks, but there will be a big majority of, that are like, no, fuck what she said, but like you said, Soapy, I'm separating her away from the actual work, and I love this work, and I want to play the game and experience a world that basically I've loved ever since. For me, it would be, like, if I was a big Harry Potter fan, it would be since I was, like, seven, um, because, or no, like, 11, 10 or 11, um, because it was around the turn of the millennia when this was starting to gain popularity. So it was like many people who are my age have fallen in love with Harry Potter since they were very young, since they were like 10, 11, maybe nine or eight in some cases. I just, I I see, I, I read that. And I just, I think discussions are most important, but like if you're trans and you're going to, your friend is going to buy the game don't just immediately assume, oh, well, you're on J.K. Rowling's side. I can't be friends with you. Yeah, and that's the part of the article I don't agree with. Of Because, I mean, like I, like when I brought up, uh, like Lovecraft fits really good into this conversation here. Obviously mm-hmm. not for the whole trans stance. Yeah. But for his shitty actions, like if I like his books, am I like, am I racist now? Mm-hmm. No. Like, and that's what I think a lot of people don't understand of you can like someone's work but also still understand like if someone likes this piece of literature or something like let's like if you stick to harry potter the harry potter books like are widely renowned as good books they don't Mm -hmm. suddenly become bad books because rowling's a bad person Mm -hmm. because and i know we keep relating stuff back to wrestling yeah like Chris Benoit had great matches. They're not great ma- like they don't just suddenly change from great to bad matches because Chris Benoit killed his family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like I, I, I don't want to bring in what this guy said in Twitch chat where he says, "So because I'm excited for a game from a franchise that I love, I now hate trans people." And it's like, no, and I agree with him. Where it's like, shut the fuck up. Where it's like, yeah, that's it. To where it's like, 
just because someone's going to buy the game because they love Harry Potter, they love that world, they attach themselves to the characters, not necessarily J.K. Rowling's herself, now you have to hate them because they're not on the same side as you? Yeah, and... Or you think they're not on the same side as you, I should say that. Yeah, and I mean, I think this game could open up that conversation of separating the art from the artist. Mm Mm-hmm. And I like, and I think that's a conversation that needs to be had. Yeah. Because if so, we shouldn't praise anything Michael Jackson did because there is the rumor that he diddled kids. Mm-hmm. If that's true, we shouldn't praise him. He yeah. should not have a single thing sung praise about him. Mm-hmm. People still fucking love Michael Jackson's music, and he did it. If he actually did it, he's that makes him a shit person. Mm-hmm. Like, I I get it. Like, I really do. Because like, I don't like Rowling as a person. Rowling is a shit human being. I could care less what happens to her. Mm-hmm. And I get why people say, you know, like, oh, buying this game directly supports her because she does get royalties from it. But at the same time, it's... She has no influence on the game. Because if she if she did, she definitely would fucking be like, there's absolutely no way you're putting trans people in this game. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what she would be doing. And... Yeah. Like I think it's just a lot of people need to look at it as like Warner has tried their damnedest to separate themselves from JK. I mean, rightfully so, because they want like I know they want the game to sell and it's like everything she's saying is not helping. It doesn't help anything. It doesn't help the game sell. Yeah. It doesn't help people come together as people. It literally does not help a single thing. A single aspect of anything. It does not help. Yeah, and that's why I'm kind of why I'm ha- like it sounds weird to say I'm happy a game like this is coming out mm-hmm. because you know it does open that conversation of separating the art from the artist, but also you know it kind of you get to see people's stance on a lot of subjects. You know, like there are people that like for instance, like a lot of people people don't realize you don't have to be extremely on one side. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, if I'm completely just extreme fuck J.K. Rowling, yeah, I won't buy the game. But, like, for instance, like, uh, people lean can lean on the side of, like, oh, I don't like J.K. Rowling, but I love Harry Potter. Or the, I agree with J.K. Rowling, but I won't buy the game because of some other reason. Like, people need to understand, it's not just extreme right, extreme left, or middle. Mm-hmm. Like, there's areas in between of where, you know, it's, oh, I can want to buy the game... And maybe they do share the same opinion with J.K. Rowling. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm normally not the person to shit on people's opinions. It's a pretty shit opinion if you share it. Yeah. And but you're not like you're not going to change people by not buying the game because people who agree with Rowling are gonna like they're not gonna have like a quarrel over it. They're not gonna be like, oh shit, dude, let me go buy this fucking video game to go support Rowling when they could just buy her book. Well, and that leads me to the last part of the article that I was going to bring up, where um, Stacy says, hateful views on trans people should not be equated to some low stakes, spicy Twitter take like the gunplay in The Last of Us 2 is uninspired. This is about whether trans people deserve to have rights. Um, The spirit of the statement, however, that no one cares is probably depressingly true. It's not so much that no one cares as that those claiming this don't care and they won't be listening to anyone who thinks otherwise. This rush to defend Hogwarts legacy to analyze Rowling's trans uh, transphobia is a cold, disaffected way as a um, ned- ned- negligible um, factor in sales figures. Ignoring the harm it causes trans people may be sympathetic um, of enough people not caring that the sales will likely not take a large hit. If you're making this argument, ask yourself, do trans people matter to me? As the game draws closer, we'll see more people making more excuses that they and their circle don't get involved in Twitter drama, that, that they regard transphobia as Twitter drama, and that a game that is um, that is linked to the world's leading transphobe constitutes for them little more 
than a sideshow, an experiment of fascinating psychological studies into the impact of social justice politics on game sales, that they have disregarded the damage trans people face on the daily and nothing more than some viral tweets that they forget as soon as they read them. Um, but for me, this is not an interne- intellectual exercise. And for me, it's like I read that and I go, the reason why, how do I want to put this? Not the reason why, but there are some people out there that are going to be, that are going to dis- distance themselves from a discussion where everyone's not going to be okay to jump into every discussion where let's be honest, all the uh, racial injustices that are going on right now, we've got the uh, trans justice that's going on on the other side. There may be some people that are like, Nope, not my style. I have my belief. I'm for you guys, but like, I don't want to voice my opinion. I don't want to get into that conversation. How many people nowadays to where it's like, you bring up politics and it's like, oh, they brought up politics again. Um, because there are just some people that are like, I don't really want to talk about it. Um, and for me, it goes back to what I what we were talking about before of if you make people feel bad for their choice to buy the game, that's when you're going to get the excuses that you talk about. To where the person then buying the game because they're like, I just want to play a Harry Potter game because I enjoy Harry Potter. They're then going to have to make an excuse, an excuse that they shouldn't technically have to make because in my mind, buying the game. And yes, you could say the thing of then you're supporting JK Rowling. I get that's a side of the argument, but just because someone buys the game doesn't mean they're giving trans people the middle finger doesn't mean they're turning their back on trans people because it's like maybe maybe we're going around in a circle here soapy but it's like what you say where it's like distance the artist from the work and in a game maybe you can do that more so because yes it's jk rowling's ip property but she's not creating this story she's not writing this game it's the game devs it's the creators that are writing this story for Harry Potter. They are taking the story where they want it to go. They're just using someone else's IP property that, yes, did they pay her to use it? You're right. And that alone, if you're one of the people that are like, I'm not going to buy the game because of that, I'm for you in that decision. I'm not telling you that that's a bad decision. You do what you think is right, but don't shun the people that are going to buy this game because then they're going to have to make excuses and then it's just going to be mentally exhausting for that person to where it's like, no, I d- just because I did this doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Um, like what I'll relate it to before I kind of hand it off to you, Soapy, is like one of my friends, Brandon Swanson. I, I feel bad for him sometimes because of, of course, for him, it's more of a political side of it. But because he is on the right, he's a Republican. Because he voted for Trump, he is viewed in a certain light. And it's like, is Brandon perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? No. Are you perfect? No. Nobody is perfect. But because he made one decision, it's like, okay, I view you in this box. You are in this box alone. To where it's like, no, just because someone... If you want to put someone in the I bought the Harry Potter game box, you cannot put them automatically in the I hate trans people box. That's yeah. when we're going to have problems. Like that's when and I don't mean that as like confrontational. I mean like that's dividing people, not bringing people together. Yeah, and that's and that's the exact thing that I stand by is mm-hmm. we make too much generalizations around people about choices they make. Like for instance, it's a lot of the times, and even when people bring up the Twitter thing of like, oh, you know, you're not getting involved in arguments on Twitter. It's Twitter. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need to understand that just because you put something on Twitter doesn't mean you actually believe it. Mm -hmm. Because first, because I've seen people like that, they go out of their way to 
shit on movements. I'm not going to mention any of them by name. You guys could probably already guess which ones I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But, like, people will, like, shit on things like that. But in the grand scheme of things they support it, they just may not have supported the specific thing about it. Yeah. And the whole thing is, it's we jump to extremes every time something is brought up. Of where, for instance, like like you brought up with Brandon. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's Republican, and yeah, you know, he did vote for Trump. The whole thing is though, like that doesn't inherently make him a bad person. Like, yeah, yes, doesn't. Like, do make, you disagree with this candidate? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't make him like for him. It's one of those where I think of when I think of Trump, I think of racist. But like Brandon's not a racist. Like that's what I think. To where it's like. <laughs> Yes, Brandon voted for Trump, but Brandon's not a racist. He's not a bigot. Um, are there things I disagree with him on? Yes. But it's not something to where it's like, well, you voted for Trump. You're a shit person. Yeah. And I think that's something that I think society is going to have to start going through. Like, we're going to mm -hmm. have to start going through the, like, not instantly jumping to conclusions on people. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, like if you keep burying yourself, like Rowling, yeah, we all fucking know Rowling stands now. There's no mm -hmm. way in hell she could come back from this and be like, oh, no, nope, this was just one giant joke, guys. <laughs> like, we like we know Rowling stands. It's not going to fucking change. Well, I mean, so I will say this, though. Like, and I'm not saying this is good. This is not a defense of Rowling. This is a defense of the, like, people never change. Um, because I do believe it is hard to get people to change. But the only way that J.K. Rowling's could come back from this is if she honestly went out there, got involved. I want to hear from people on the other side and basically through those experiences was basically like, you know what? What I said was not right. I'm now on the other side, but that's not going to happen. Like, I don't see that happening. Um, that's yeah, the she's only like way. triple down at this point. Yeah, it's basically the. It, like, I just view it now as the, like, okay, boomer, like, think what you want, you're wrong. Like, that's what I think of, to where it's like, you, focusing my energy solely on you is not going to help the cause. It's not going to help um, trans people get more rights. It's just going to create more anger, and that's not going to help anybody. Yeah. And that's something of where, like, obviously, you know, it's, Sometimes we may give people too many second chances, mm -hmm. you know, because it's happened in the past mm -hmm. of where we give people a second chance and it turns out they're still shit people. Yeah. And like, obviously, you know, it's Rowling is fucking tripled down at this point. Mm -hmm. She ain't changing. But like, I think it's just us as a society need to go through and kind of reevaluate how you look at things. Oh, we kind of I mean, we're on topic still, but yeah. man. Kind of spun away from the should I buy the game or not? I mean, it's a deep, this is a deep conversation though. Like this one, I knew was gonna go. Like while we were doing it, I'm like, wow, we might have to cut things from the show. Um, yeah, just because, a bit. like, and then just the la which one thing I do want to bring up because this guy brought it up was um, the whole article is fucked. Apparently, enjoying a video game now puts you right in the I hate trans people camp. Fuck you, author. Fuck you. And with my whole thing, because this whole conversation is stemming from this Polygon article um, that you guys should go um, check out. Actually, right now, I forgot that I didn't do that. So I'm going to do that really quickly. So it'll be here on the live show. For YouTube, it's down below. Um, it's been down below. Um, okay. Uh, I got to be right back, brother. Go ahead. I'm going to talk for a little bit. But there's the article that we've been referencing the whole time. Um, and at the very end, she puts this, she goes, if you decide to buy the game, I hope you do so with the under, with an understanding about the con context of JK Rowling's transphobia, not to mention the various racist tropes in her books. But remember when asked whether you would stand with your trans friends or stand with her, all it took was an open world RPG to lure you over if you've ever announced your um, your alliance by claiming that you're no longer supporting J.K. Rowling's, now is the time to prove it. And just my overall thoughts with the article itself is, so I understand where Stacy is coming from, from this and from how she wrote the article. Um, 
I I don't want to assume anything, but I get the sense that like how she wrote it and things like how she worded things. I would think, okay, Stacy is a trans person. Um, I could be wrong there. Don't know. Don't know Stacy from Polygon. Um, but it's like I understand where where they're coming from, but at the same time, I think it it hit it misses its mark ultimately to where instead of a conversation, I know it's an opinion piece, so it's like this is my opinion, um, and everyone's right to have their own opinion. It's just I feel like this article is more of the attack side from what Soapy and I have talked about to where I feel like that's not going to help in the end to where, like I've said before, if you're a trans person and you're not going to buy this, let's say you're a Harry Potter fan or were a Harry Potter fan and you're a gamer, obviously you're watching the show and you're like, well, I'm not going to buy the game because of X, Y, and Z JK Rowling's. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. And that's your choice. You're doing it because of this reason. At the same time, I feel like a broken record here. Don't automatically look into it in a sense of, let's say you have a friend over on the other side, and and I shouldn't say the other side. You have a friend, and they buy the game because they're like, although I am against what J.K. Rowling said, I really want to play this game. It really looks like fun. Don't automatically assume that they are now your enemy, that they are now against you. Like that kind of attitude is just going to tear people apart rather than, cause like, isn't the, isn't the whole point of that? And this is me asking the greater question of, isn't the point of trans rights, black, right, uh, black rights, uh, uh, gay rights, um, Latino rights, Asian rights, rights everybody all the, everyone's rights aren't the point of all of this to bring everyone together not split everyone apart and i just i i have a feeling of by being on the side of like what this guy said earlier of the oh you bought the game you're now in the i hate trans um basket no that's not right that that's not right you're far off there may be people who buy this game because they agree with J.K. Rowling's. But them agreeing with J.K. Rowling's has nothing to do with them buying the game. Whereas there are going to be many people who disagree with J.K. Rowling's but still want to buy the game because, like you said in your article, Harry Potter was an escape. There was an escapism there. And the thing that sucks is that J.K. Rawlings took that away from you. They, She took that feeling of a world that you can escape from away from you. And it's one of those things where me talking to you right now, us having a conversation, nobody can give, just, here you go, here it is, here, have it back. Um, Like, I'm trying to think for me of something that happened that just like took me out of a game completely to where it's like, Nope, I can never play that. And there's, there's probably an example that I'm just not thinking of right now, but nobody can get like, it's very hard to get that back in a sense. It's very hard to get that escapism back, but should you then be mad at friend X, friend Y, friend Z because they haven't had that escapism taken away from them to where I almost feel like this article. And this is why I said it misses the mark because I understand what Stacy is trying to say. I do basically saying that, if you support the game, if you buy the game, yes, J.K. Rowling is going to get a piece of the pie, which is wrong because of her, like, she shouldn't be rewarded for her thoughts. But it's also wrong on the other side to basically say, because I've had my escapism taken away, 
you also have to have yours taken away as well. To me, that does not help anybody. That that does not help a single thing to where I feel like this game, if you're going, like how I stand on, if you're going to buy the game, buy the game. Um, if you're not going to buy the game, go ahead and don't buy the game. Um, Dave brings up a great point. Chick-fil-A. Do I agree with Chick-fil-A and what there? I think it's what Dave, their CEO, right? Was it their CEO that was, um, basically, uh, homophobic? Like, do I agree with that? No. Do I still eat at Chick-fil-A? Yes. Like, but that's to me yet again, maybe I'm the wrong person to be asking these questions, to be talking about this because I mean, I'm not trans, I'm not gay. So maybe on the other side of it to where it's like the, um, the side of like, well, of course it doesn't like, it doesn't impact you. So why would you feel that way? Like there will be that thought to it, but like Dave brings up a great point. Chick-fil-A. Am I against the, um, anti-gay donations to, um, uh, basically homophobia? Yes. I'm against that. That's, fucking no um but at the same time i still eat chick-fil-a i do i eat it all the time i'll be honest no but it's like i'm not at the point like in my mind it's not a point of like i boycott chick-fil-a um dave just brought up the point soapy about um do you view it as the same as like the chick-fil-a thing where chick-fil-a donations to anti-gay and homophobia um dan um kathy do you view it in that sense? And I was just talking to where it's like, no, I still eat Chick-fil-A. Um, I don't have that same attachment to it. I, it's kind of the same here. Wrong what they're doing, wrong what their opinion is. But yet again, that one's a little bit different too because if you go to Chick-fil-A, you're directly helping them. This one, it's how much of the cut is actually going to J.K. Rowling's or has she already been paid because they paid her mostly for the IP to use it for the game. Yeah, and <clears throat> like I, I'm, I'm kind of on the side of like, I mean, one, I don't eat Chick Fil A anyways because mm-hmm. there's not a Chick Fil A anywhere near me. And like, I'm gonna be honest, I probably wouldn't eat Chick Fil A. And because my whole thing is like, there's a difference between indirectly supporting and supporting somebody like. Because my whole thing is, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, if you eat a Chick-fil-A, you hate gay people. Like, no, that's not what I'm going to view it as. It's just going to be like, okay, mm-hmm. you know. Like, some of those people would just be like, well, I don't care if that's happening. It's like, well, you should probably go into it knowing at least. Yeah. To where it's like, maybe don't eat there all the time mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But, like, I'm not going to shit on people for eating a Chick-fil-A. Because, like, dude, mm-hmm. if you like Chick-fil-A, eat Chick-fil-A. That'd be like, for instance, if, like, Popeyes came out and they said, like, really racist shit, like, Am I going to cut down on how much Popeyes eat? Yeah. Am I going to completely stop? No. Mm. Well, and like Dave says in Twitch chat, giving money to groups that fund hatred versus giving money to a game, um, which he put, which ya funds JK. I'm assuming that just means which money goes to JK from. Um, that's why, like I've said, I'm at the, like, I have the opinion of if you're not going to buy the game, don't buy the game. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, if you're not going to buy the game, don't buy the game. I'm just on the side of if you have a friend that is going to buy the game, don't automatically assume they are your enemy. Don't automatically assume that they do not care about you because in the sense of the game, I think the game is a little bit different than when Soapy brought up the um the rapper, the Chick Fil A, oh, um Tory Lanes, because like an artist making music, if I buy their CD, yes, there's a record label. Maybe the record label makes more than the artist, but the artist made the creation. In the sense of Chick Fil A, the CEO made the company. You are giving them majority of the money. In this sense, and yet again, I do not know. I do not have the numbers in front of me of a per like what percentage of every game goes to JK. Like I said, maybe they have it worked out to where Warner brothers has already dealt with that. They've 
basically it's a sense of you don't make anything off of the games we're just paying you a flat fee in order to use your ip um yet again maybe that just goes back to the fact of um the agreement that they have that warner brothers owns the rights to harry potter in general who knows who knows what the like i don't know the exact ins and outs of the deal or the numbers are nobody does except for warner brothers I just, I sit there and I go, the reason why this game is a little bit different is because it's not like J.K. Rowling's created this game. It's not like she said, we're going to make this game. There's an entire team. There's an entire devs, creators, artists that put their heart and soul into this game. And I'm on the, maybe this is me bringing up the devil's advocate side to the argument for the for the people that are on the same side as the author of this article to where it's basically so should these devs and these artists and everyone who worked on the game should they be punished because of JK Rowling's should they be punished and have their income and their livelihood in impacted because somebody who's not even related to them who didn't even work on the game with them that has nothing to do with what they are doing except for 20 years ago she created the ip affect their livelihood i don't think so i think that this is one where if you're unable to separate jk from the game that's fine don't buy it. But also, if you are going to buy it, do not feel bad for buying this game because you just because you bought the game in my mind does not mean you are you are not in the I hate trans basket. If people are going to put you on that basket, that is more of a reflection on them than a reflection on you. Yeah, so... uh I mean, I don't got anything else to say. Okay. So, <laughs> so looking at the time, Soapy. Um, yeah, just this topic went just a just a little long. You know what? This was something that I knew was like as I put it down. I'm like, this is this is gonna happen. So the Tokyo Game stuff and the Resident Evil stuff we were gonna talk about today. Um, let's push that to Monday, so we can. Yeah, that I know the Tokyo Game stuff happened overnight but we'll push that to monday um and we'll end the show with shorty but a goodie um because we got three shorties um here today i'm going to open up the articles really quick and we'll end the show um on that note um last one so the first thing we're talking about in shorty but a goodie soapy is xbox game pass this article is from polygon and it basically reads the following Xbox Game Pass Ultimate offers Xbox and Windows PC players plenty of benefits for its subscription price. And that isn't just limited to a games library. Starting on Friday, which is today, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers can get two free months worth of subscription to Funimation Premium Plus, the highest tier of the company's anime streaming service. Um, Funimation Premium Plus gives anime fans access to Funimation's entire streaming library, including English dubs and uh, simulcast shows. Um, At the moment, the service offers series like Naruto, Black, uh, Black Clover, and My Hero Academia that Premium Plus members can stream ad free. The Game Pass Ultimate offers include 60 free days to Premium Pass subscription, and it is available only to new Funimation subscribers. Soapy, what's your thought on this? I don't know. I I never asked you how uh, big of an anime fan you are, but I know you have Xbox Game Pass. Does this uh, intrigue you as a uh, Game Pass subscriber? Uh, It does. So now I actually have an excuse to watch Black Clover. (laughs) You only get it for sixty days, though. That's the thing. Like, yes, I could definitely catch up with the series in sixty days. Yeah, yeah, like you doubt my laziness. That that's the thing that sucks. It is only sixty days, but at least you get it for you get it for free. You can watch these animes 
um, for absolutely zero. Well, technically you're paying because you're paying Xbox, but zero additional dollars. Um, Soapy, the next one, Sega has announced a new virtual fighter project, but won't say if it is a game. Um, Closing out its Sega fans meetup live event. The company aired a short trailer for Virtua Fighter 5 Esports, but would not reveal further details on what the project was. Sega CEO um, Haruki Satomi described Virtua Fighter 5 Esports as a project commemorating the 60th year anniversary of Sega starting first in Japan. Asked if the project would involve a new Virtua Fighter game, the CEO joked, that he had run out of time and that more information would be revealed in the future. Sega's, um, Sega's fighting series has seen, seen a mainstream installment or hasn't seen a mainstream installment since 2010's Virtua Fighter five final showdown, um, which was eventually released on Xbox 360 and PS3 in 2012 and later made available um, via a mini game in 2016's Yakuza 6, The Song of Life on PS4. Um, Soapy, I don't know how big of a Virtua Fighter um, fan you are, but should fans be excited that, hey, a new game is coming nearly 10 plus years down the line, or would you be on the, eh, let's not get our hopes up yet, they didn't really give us much information? Um, kind of somewhere in between of it's like, you know, if you're a fan, be excited. Mm-hmm. But... Like, I'd honestly just wait until we get closer to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those where it's like, I kind of hope it is a game for the Virtua Fighter fans because, dude, it's been 10 years since the last one. I mean, I know the Yakuza mini game is there, but it's like, come on, you're going to go big for the 60th anniversary? Go big, go home. Um, Give us a new Virtua Fighter game. And then the last one, Final Fantasy 16 reportedly coming sooner than people think. Um, this is from, on Thursday, Bloomberg reporter um, Jason Schreier, who formerly of Kotaku, um, claimed that Final Fantasy 16 has been in development for at least four years and will likely release sooner than people think. He said on the Triple Click podcast, I've heard from people who know the game, uh, have worked on the game, or are familiar with the game's development, that it's actually been in development for at least four years in some capacity. So it's coming sooner than people think. He added, 15, I think, really set a terrible precedent. It was announced as Versus 13 in, 20, in 2006, then took 10 years to make. So I think they want to shy away from that. It makes sense. 15 game out, or uh, 15 game out in 2016. Um, so it's already been four years since the last Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy 16 is being directed by uh, uh, Hiroshi uh, Takai, the designer who performed the same role for Final Fantasy 14 and The Last Remnant. Soapy, is there a... The thing I wanted to ask you with this is, is there a chance we could get this first half of 2021, or are you thinking this is a second half 2021, 2022 release for the PS5? I mean, I'm thinking there's a good chance we can get it just anywhere in 2021. Okay. Like, when I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm obviously not going to say, like, oh, January, because that's really fucking early. Dude, if they came but... out and said February, like, <clears throat> people would just blow shit, I think. Could you imagine this in February and then God of War in April? Yeah. That'd be, uh, that'd be, that'd be something else. Yeah, it's going to be nuts to see when this comes out. I was intrigued for it, the whole uh, medieval um, aspect of things, but that's going to do it for games live today. This was not, I want to say it was a jam packed show, but it was a jam packed show with a lot of content, um, into one singular, um, topic. Um, remember join the discord link down below in the description, um, Twitch chat. You can get it exclamation point Twitch chat, um, at any time to get that link to join the great conversations happening, happening in there with the real MVP community, you can also support us patreon.com backslash MVP vids, but you can also support us by subscribing to us on Twitch as well. Thank you to our Patreon sponsors, Pat Hill and Philly Sean. Um, and then last but not least, we're on Twitch every Monday through Friday, twitch.tv backslash MVP vids. 
but we're also on YouTube at MVP Entertainment. That is going to do it for Soapy and I this week. We will be back on Monday for some more gaming news content. If you're on Twitch, because I dropped my pen, if you're on Twitch, Dave and I will be coming up with Sports Live Football Friday right after this. But as always, have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.